good evening children welcome to online class we are going to continue our fifth unit the world of animals shall we so in our yesterday's class we have studied or we have classified the organisms into unicellular organism and multicellular organism do you remember children yes so this unicellular organism means the organism which is made up of single cell okay the entire organism is made up of single cell and uh, multicellular organisms are the organisms which are made up of many cells so here are the some some of for, uh, examples for unicellular organism amoeba paramecium igluna are the examples for unicellular organism these unicellular organisms are uh, microscopic that is you cannot see them with your naked eyes only with the help of microscope we can see so we have detailedly studied about this ame amoeba uh, even though it is a single cellular organism it undergoes all the bodily functions that is physiological activities are carried out by the different organelles present in the amoeba today we are going to concentrate on the remaining unicellular organism that is paramecium and igluna okay children look here this is paramecium paramecium is also a unicellular organism which lives in water and moves with the help of cilia so here the locomotory organ of paramecium is cilia locomotory organ of paramecium is what cilia okay okay now this uh, are you able to identify where is cilia yes so it to have contractic va vacuoles contractile vacuole what is the use of this contractile vacuole yes very good it uh, excretes okay it uh, excretes and food vacuoles are there this food vacuoles are useful to uh, digestion or in, in uh, intaking of food okay so it uh, undergoes excretion it undergoes digestion and also it undergoes locomotion see this hair like structure no this hair like uh, structure small small hair like structure present at the end isn't it so this small small hair like structure they are called a cilia they are called a cilia c i l i a so cilia is the locomotory organ of paramecium is it clear children yes okay then now the next um, unicellular organism is igluna what it is igluna so this is the diagrammatic representation of igluna so igluna is a unicellular organism which moves with the help of flagellum flagellum so this string like structure no this string like structure is called a fla flagellum this flagellum is the locomotory organ of this unicellular organism igluna okay so with the help of this flagellum this igluna moves understood yes so it to have contractile vacuoles and um, contractile vacuoles are present there so it also undergoes water excretion excretion locomotion etc are carried out by this uh, igluna do you understood children yes so igluna paramecium and amoeba are the three unicellular organism what we have discussed in our uh, lesson is it clear children so far we have studied about the unicellular organism now we are going to discuss about the multicellular organism majority of organism we see around us including animals are multicellular okay so majority of the organisms are an Uh, multicellular including the animals in such organisms different functions are carried out by different groups of cells or organs in their body we know that in our body uh, the various functions are going on isn't it digestion excretion uh, circulation uh, locomotion etc all these are carried out by various parts of our body various parts of our body uh, and also each uh, organs will carry out for example intestines will carry out the digestion process right and uh, 
blood vessels carry out the heart and blood vessels carry out the circulation process so our legs carry out the locomotory process like that for each and every function we have different set of cells or different set of organs which are helps to do all the physiological activities so example for multicellular organisms are what are they this is worm isn't it worm and frog all these are examples for uh, multicellular organism even man is also a best example for multicellular organism we are going to differentiate the between the unicellular organism and multicellular organism unicellular organism let us first detail study about the unicellular organisms they are made up of single cell isn't it that's why it is called as unicellular organism the single cell of the organism can perform all the functions of the life all the functions of the life the single cell itself okay and then these organisms are generally very small that is microscopic in nature they lack tissues they lack tissues organs and organ system so there is no tissues no organs and no organ systems we know that the tissues forms the organs and organs together form the organ system isn't it but since uh, they are made up of single cell they uh, they lack tissues organs and uh, what organ system the growth occurs by an increase in the size of the cell so how does the growth occurs in these unicellular organism if the size of the cell increases if the size of the cell increases then um, it it means that uh, the organism grows it means that the organism grows okay so increase in the size of the cell increase in the size of the cell in uh, gives the growth of growth to the unicellular organism and the examples are amoeba paramecium and uh, igluna do you understood about this uh, unicellular organism good now multicellular organism so what are multicellular organism multicellular organism are made up of many cells multicellular organisms are made up of what many cells division of labor exists among the cells different cells are specialized to perform different functions so as i said each and every function is carried out by a uh, set of cells okay Dif uh, set of cells so there is a division of labor exists among the that is the cells divide themselves to do uh, to perform various functions and they are mostly large in size mostly large in size and they are composed of tissues organs and a organ system multicellular consists of tissues organs and organ system isn't it but this unicellular they don't have uh, tissues organs and organ system whereas this multicellular has all those things uh, the growth how does the growth occurs in the uh, multicellular organism growth occurs by an increase in the number of cells by the cell division okay so the cell gets divided the cell get actually divided and the number of cells uh, increases okay the cell get uh, divided by the division the number of cells get increased so by that what happens the growth occurs the growth occurs see how does the cell uh, getting divided for example see this is a cell imagine this is a cell okay so when you divide this so when this is divided into two this part will form an uh, one cell and this part will become another cell so the one cell has been converted into two cells now isn't it so by through division the number of cells increases so that this increases the growth of the organism do you understood cell division children yes example for this multicellular organisms are earthworms fish frogs lizards and uh, human beings so even our um, our human human beings in the sense man is also best example for this multicellular organism so this is very very important one difference between unicellular and a multicellular organism is it clear children so far we have discussed about the uh, differences 
or the we have detailedly uh, discussed about the unicellular organisms and the multicellular organism so hope i have you have understood the lessons thoroughly children am i right yes today the assignment is given to complete your class work notebook so what are all the questions given you copy down in your class work notebook very neatly start the new lesson in a new page and write neatly and submit your notebook i am dissatisfied with your class work notebooks among the among all the four section a single boy from section b has written the notebook very perfectly okay a single boy i am proud to say his name he is sudhir sudhir from 6th b has neatly written his class work notebook none of you have done so if you want to get a good name you write your class work notebook very neatly and submit for correction in the next chance is it clear children not only writing the class work and uh, you have to learn the question answers and book back exercise children meet you in the next class children thank you stay home stay safe obey your parents make your parents to get vaccinated